Now, another Tuesday, another apprentice loser is licking her wounds after a tough day at the office last night. So, Neve, the woman who can't use a mobile phone, booted off the show. And who better to talk us through it than Aoife Madden, last year's star of The Apprentice. Hello. We're you bringing doing? you up there, last year's star. Where did oh, you yeah. place? <laughs> Let's not talk about that. I'm, I'm only joking. Aoife, you've been there, you've done The Apprentice, you've been with Bill. Um, on the show, sorry, that sounds very wrong. You, you have the experience to talk to us. Uh, about. Front page headlines. Indeed. So let's talk about last night's episode. It was episode number three. Three, yes. First and foremost, there was team changes from the off, wasn't there? Yeah, mixed it up last night, moved um, Kieran and Jamie over to the girls team yeah which um, went down very well with Caroline who is very pally and clicky in their own words um, and then last night Bill himself chose the project managers which is the first didn't he? he did that last year right but not until about I think week 8 or 9 so right. he's obviously eager to see Caroline um, and Panos on the other team because I think it was very he said I, now you two I'm choosing you two because you've been flying under the radar screen <laughs> the radar screen <laughs> the radar he comes out with some classics ok so maybe he thought they were taking the backseat <laughs> they were thrown to the front what was the task there that they had to lead they had to come up with a billboard campaign very similar to a task we had last year um, right. for Luke's Aid Sport light a new drink so I mean straightforward enough that was it they had their casting for their models which was hilarious of course they casted I can't remember which team casted 30 models and used like one one <laughs> yeah but um, you know straightforward enough task and uh, basically one team did okay I think and one team made a balls of that <laughs> absolute balls the young lady who got the boot last night Neve, Neve Humphreys um like all the members of the team, they've got to pitch ideas. They've got to come up with ideas. So it's for a sports drink, um, and they're trying to figure out how best to sell it. Neve had some brilliant ideas. Crackers. You know, or a girl or whatever that's just coming in after doing their workout. They're sitting on the washing machine, and they're actually using this as their their washing powder as such because it, you know, it's so. I think that you would know, be too confusing. Yeah. 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 Do you reckon that might be a bit confusing, Neve? Really? Two, two yeah, questions. Do you, do you sit on the washing machine, ladies? No. <laughs> no. And secondly, um, is that a good analogy to wash your clothes? with yeah, a sports drink I'd imagine some serious staining come out <laughs> to big time get the vanish out like this that. is Lucas Aid Sport Light I mean what the hell has washing powder got to do with yeah, it yeah I know come and on, as Eve. for the other idea it was something to do with a tree poured on the roots poured the Lucas Aid Sport into the roots yeah she didn't really finish too many of those thoughts and then um, on the other team at the end of it when it came to it they had to they had to pitch to the company themselves mm-hmm. and it was done um, in like the ODS or somewhere like that yeah, in like front it. of a board and they had a truck with their billboard board with their poster on it and obviously they had to elect one member of each team to give that pitch mm. well Barry was that member <laughs> on team Elevate Barry and Caesar what, Hunt what a performance Barry's a legend I love Barry so here's why he wanted to do it <laughs> and here's how he did it Okay, at the end of the day like it has to be presented so and I'm probably no, no, the no, strongest at presenting things so I'll do it it's a strong ad it's a powerful ad I'm going to sell the shit out of it tomorrow <laughs> Lucas says Light has been energised when you take a sip you taste it you feel it. You let it tingle. Now, we're still talking about a sports drink here, yeah? <laughs> yeah. When you take a drink, you taste it. But no we, way, We didn't Harry. cut that clip off. It just kind of ended. It just petered out. I was expecting Al Pacino or, or Mel Gibson-style <laughs> speech, the way he was building that one. The and smoking. then a little bit of a smoke machine, and pff, that was the end of that. <laughs> but they weren't the worst. Well, that you can say that again. The other team, what was the camel about? Oh, my God. The other team used a water cooler. Instead of water in the cooler, they had the Lucasade Sport Light, and then they had a camel. Yes. And what basically the concept was, which I didn't get until the very end of the presentation and nobody was... nobody did. I was watching with about five people last night, and everyone was like, what's through with the camel? Like, yeah. we just don't get it. Like, So the camel had been wandering in the desert, had suddenly got the sniff or the whiff or the sense that there was a tasty <laughs> drink on offer, and walked all the way... To Straight out of crunch fitness. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got a great clip here of uh, the uh, the camel and the, the photographer yes. talking to Tara. <laughs> you see, we're trying to like be realistic. Like, would a water cooler be out on the tennis court? I don't think so. Do you know the kind well, of way? It'd be realistic. Would a camel be standing behind the water cooler? No, no but no. you know, I just want to know what the concept is. <laughs> yeah. I still can't get my whole uh, mind around the whole camel idea. <laughs> I don't I think it. anybody could get their mind around the camel idea. <laughs> and actually, what was worse was Lucas Aid Light turned around and said, "If you'd used a prequel, yeah, the, yeah, without filler. the ad, without the camel, the camel, it would have been great." Yeah, because the water cooler idea wasn't bad. You know, 
because they like the kind of comparison to water. Yeah. But I mean, even the font was just sort of scraping Ooh. my eyeballs out. It was bad, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah being specific. It, it, it got them into the boardroom. Um, <laughs> Caroline had to bring two back. So she brought... Shocker. Neve and Tara. Yes. Well, I mean, let's face it. She wasn't going to bring Jamie in with No. Her, and she wasn't going to bring Kieran. I thought it was hilarious watching the two lads. It was like they were fighting to see who could say the nicer things who about Caroline. Um, and I think, I have to say, I like Caroline. I liked her. She's likeable from the first week. But I, do th- I don't think she's one of the stronger candidates in there. I thought she did a good presentation last night. But um, there was no doubt about who she was bringing in. It is, was, it was is, always going to be Neve and Kira, really, wasn't it? Is there why, something why is that? Well, because they're absolute head wrecks, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she sent them off, Tara, Neve, and uh, Kira off on their own because in that situation, like, you, you just, you don't, you send the dead weight off and, yes. and uh, get them out of your hair. Did you not sympathise with her at all? Because we've had a, a, a text in here, um, somebody says, Neve wasn't particularly like, but did Eve sympathise because she was given the term ice queen herself? So is there, <laughs> can you connect with this lady? Yeah, I don't know. Ice queen, I mean, I don't think that it was, she was majorly bitchy. I think she was just, and I don't get me wrong, I mean, she was the person to go but I do think she's going to be missed now yeah. like she, she was true. hilarious she's good TV. Like, yeah she is good TV so I think they'll miss her you know um, in, the, in those terms so finally on this right is there something going on with Jamie and Caroline well come on Aoife I'm working on getting the inside 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 scoop brilliant but basically yes <laughs> <laughs> Aoife 2 man. thanks very much no more Apprentice with Aoife next week 8.17 now <laughs>